Good morning. Well, it's good seeing everyone here this morning. I know that I've been gone for a couple of weeks, and uh, a lot of welcome faces this morning. It's so good to see see each every one of you. I know, Jeff, you had some things that you needed to say this morning, and Brittany. Good morning. I'd like to welcome our church family and visitors. Thanks for being with us today. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeff Yontz, and I serve on our finance team. Uh, budgets are ready, or the proposed budgets are ready to be reviewed. They're out in the foyer area, so grab one if you can. Wednesday night, we're going to have a discussion period. We'll probably have it during the service and then after the service if anyone has any additional questions. Um, The discussion period will be this week, but the vote will be next Sunday, the 26th. It'll be a no discussion vote. Um, and again, at any, if anyone has any questions ever, you can reach out to any of our finance team. Um, but especially this week, if you have any questions, and our team consists of is Casey Dishman, Vern Johnson, Chad Hicks, Amy Moore, and myself. Um, and also one more announcement, inside of your bulletin, you should have received one of these. Um, it's just an update page, just to get some more information, emails, or and also to get a preferred way that you may want to receive our church mailings. Um, we're going to do. We're we're trying to go more paperless here, cut down on postage some. So if you'll fill those out and put those in the foyer. So thank you very much. Good morning. So it is almost Operation Christmas Child time. Yay. Um, and we're going to start doing all the details and stuff next week, but I wanted to go ahead and have you start thinking about it um, this morning so that you'll be ready. Um, in case you don't know, Operation Christmas Child is a program that Samaritan's Purse does, and our church has participated for many years. It's a wonderful outreach for children in lots of different countries, and all you have to do is fill up a shoebox with some things to send to a child. Um, you get to choose from different age groups, so you can choose if you want to send to like a two and two to four year old, or you know middle age or older children. And you think about things that those kids don't have, and it's so much fun when you go in the store, and you think. I could put a water bottle in my shoebox, right? Because they might not have water bottles. That's something they probably wouldn't have. And then you could put a toothbrush and a washcloth and all the things you could fit inside that water bottle. Um, lots of cool things. I've seen people doing um, soccer balls and also sending a pump so that whenever they open up their box, they can pump up the ball. And it fits because it's you know not inflated yet whenever you put it in there. Um, lots of really cool things that you can send. So over the next week until next Sunday, be thinking about, be praying about um, what age child, how many children, how many boxes that you would like to do. Shipping, remember, is $9 a box. So in addition to whatever you spend putting in the box, remember to save that much out. If you are not a shopper, you don't want to go shopping and look for stuff, bring me the money. I'll go shopping for you. I love doing that. So if you want to help and do that, you can you can do it, participate that way. Or if you would like to bring money and say, I can't do a box, but this is $9 that could ship someone else's box, do that too. And that way we can, all of us, work together and um, make a difference. One of the things this morning, I just some new faces this morning, just like to welcome everyone here this morning. I know in the bulletin there is a uh, perforated piece of paper on the side that has some information. We'd love to have your information, uh, an email or a phone number, a text number, or something of that nature, or some way that we could reach out to you, but just like to welcome you here this morning. But uh, just take a moment, I'm going to pray and open this up and hand it over to Carter. Father, we, uh, we love you, we praise you, we honor you for this day that you've given us. And, Lord, just how special it is to be here this morning. Lord, as I ask, Lord, this morning as we bow, I just pray, Lord, that as we worship, 
as, as Charlie brings the message, as Father is the music, that everything Father has done for your glory and praise, Lord, we hand this over to you. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Good morning. Thank you, Chuck. Good morning, everybody. I want to join the, uh, everyone who's already welcomed you and welcome you myself. I'm Carter Dishman, I'm the praise and worship leader here at Bethel. And uh, if you don't have a place to get plugged into, you're not looking. There's a lot going on in there. A lot of announcements, a lot of things to do. So uh, find something you can get involved with. I want to thank the youth this morning. Youth did a wonderful breakfast. I'm wearing half of mine right here, as most of you can see. Chad, you want to get a close-up? Is this the camera you're using right now? That was my breakfast. And actually, I got it, and this is a true story. I got it carrying it in because when I'm eating, I don't miss my mouth very often. Uh, so this is, this is a carry-in incident. But uh, glad you could be with us this morning. Right now, let's stand and sing Micah 6-8. And after we sing through a verse of that, turn and greet those around you this morning. He has shown thee, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of thee. He has shown thee, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of thee. But to do justly and to love mercy and to walk on. With thy God. Turn and greet those around you this morning. Find your way back towards your seat. Can remain standing, and we're going to continue his praise this morning with "What a Difference You Made in My Life." What a 
difference you made in my life. You're my sunshine day and night. Oh, what a difference you made. What a difference you made in my life. What a difference you made in my life. You're my sunshine. sound good this morning we're talking about that song or thinking about that song this week last weekend was impact with Tauga. did anybody get involved in impact with Tauga last week i saw a lot of pictures yeah uh we we had a little little meet, meeting session over uh out our way working on the house that some people are about to move into i saw working at the school you don't know how much impact that has and what a difference you make in someone's life for christ getting involved in those things so uh, always be looking be aware uh of the things going on around you in your community because uh, you never know how much that's going to impact someone else. So thank you, everybody who got involved with that. But right now we're going to sing 10,000 Reasons uh, before we go into our special music this morning. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. His holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I'll worship your holy name The sun comes up It's a new day dawning It's time sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be sing
Guys, I want to uh, introduce uh, uh, a couple of new friends to you just recently, and I want to ask uh, Pastor uh, to come up, uh, Pastor Ezekiel Moreno and his wife Veronica. Uh, would you guys come on up here with me? And Carter's going to give you all a microphone there. And uh, they, uh, I, I met Pastor Moreno. Uh, they came to a hispanic night that we recently had here at the church where we provided a meal and a movie and invited all the hispanic people in this whole area to come and we had just a little over 75 hispanic folks that came that night and reaching out and for those of you who come here you know that the lord has put on our heart just in the last few years uh, a desire to reach the hispanic population which is the fastest growing population in America and the fastest growing population in this uh, area of Watauga County in East Tennessee. And I, when, I, when I met Pastor uh, uh, Ezekiel and Veronica and got to know them a little bit, and they had invited me over to their church, which meets on the other side of Boone out in Deep Gap in their home on Sunday evenings. And so uh, we just hit an immediate friendship, and uh, they have three children. They have a 16-year-old daughter, Ashley, and a 10-year-old daughter, uh, Betsy, and a four-year-old son, Ezekiel Jr. And uh, so they're all here today, and, and uh, so I'm going to invite their uh, uh, friends and all from the church to come on up and uh, uh, who are going to sing. Are they going to sing from up here? Yeah, yeah, okay, so come on up. Everybody who's going to come up, come on up. And we're going to have some music in Spanish uh, today. And uh, when I went out to the church, I told them I couldn't understand a word anybody said for the hour and a half that I was there. But I knew I'd been to church because I want to tell you, I felt the love of the Lord and the presence of the Holy Spirit was there. But... Uh, Pastor uh, Ezekiel, would you come and just while they're getting set up, you go ahead and just share something there from God's Word. Es un privilegio poder estar aquí con ustedes. It's a privilege yeah, it's to be here with y'all. Es un gozo poder estar con ustedes. It's a joy poder la to be ver with y'all. To be with our family in Christ. Eh, gracias al Pastor Charlie. Thank you, Pastor Charles. I believe it's God that put you on my path. Es una bendición. You're a bless. Antes de poder entonar una el canto, quiero compartir con ustedes. Before we sing, I would like to share with you, and you can look in your Bible because this Bible is in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> If you open your Bible in Hebrews, Hebreos, cuatro, chapter 16, four. Verse 16. What was it again? Hebrews. He okay. Hebrews. Chapter. Chapter. Four, verse 16. Four, verse 
dice así acerquémonos pues confiadamente al trono de la gracia para alcanzar misericordia y hallar gracia para el oportuno socorro ¿Sí lo lee? which in English is I'm going to try to read it okay my English is limited also <laughs> let us then confidently approach the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace for the opportune help la alabanza que vamos a entonar the song we want to sing eh, habla de eso de que nos acercamos a Dios talks about the we uh, approach to the throne of God eh, independientemente de cómo estamos cómo nos sentimos independently how you feel la Biblia el escritor de Hebreo nos, nos, nos anima a acercarnos a él the um, Hebrews tell us and help us to and tell us to come and come to the throne of God para dos cosas for two things misericordia y gracia mercy and grace of God y eso es lo que el ser humano and that's what the human necesita need diario every day la misericordia the mercy of y la gracia and de Dios grace of God así que y dependientemente de cómo nos sintamos donde vamos it don't, it don't matter how you feel where you go a donde esté where you are si está en el trabajo if you are at work si está en la oficina if you are in the office si está en la, en la sala if you are in the living room si está room, en la cocina in the kitchen si está en su cuarto in your room si está a punto de dormirse if you are about to sleep acérquese a Dios come to the throne of God acérquese a Él porque Él lo espera con los brazos abiertos come to Him because His hands is open for you la gente puede decir otras cosas people can say whatever la gente puede decir Dios no te va a escuchar people might say God is not going to listen to you pero Dios siempre está con sus ojos abiertos y sus oídos escuchando but God is always with his eyes open and his ear open for you es bueno encontrar a un amigo it's good to find a friend tener a una persona que nos escuche to have a person that can hear you y hasta cierto punto uno se libera de pronto la tensión que uno tiene and sometimes you get over it for whatever you feel pero cuando usted se acerca al trono de la gracia de Dios but when you come to the throne of God algo sucede something amazing happen amen es que usted entra al mismo trono de Dios because you come to the throne of God le habla a Dios and you talk to God y Dios escucha and God listen to you y Dios obra and God do something about it así que acerquémonos a Dios so let's come to God's throne y vamos a entonar esta alabanza so we want to sing dice así venimos ante ti Señor con corazones sinceros llenos de ante ti Señor con corazones sinceros llenos de alabanza y de adoración Señores, tú eres digno de que todos te adoren, porque tú eres rey de reyes y Señor de Señor.
rendimos ante ti, Señor, con corazones sinceros, llenos de alabanza y de adoración. Venimos ante ti, Señor, con corazones sinceros, llenos de alabanza y de adoración. Porque tú eres Rey de Reyes y Señor de Señores, tú eres digno de que todos te adoren, porque tú eres Señor de señores, tú eres digno de que todos te adoren. Thank you so much. Y les pedimos de sus oraciones. Thank you and we ask you for pray for our ministry, for what we do because we also serve God in Spanish. <laughs> que el Señor les bendiga y esperemos no sea la última vez que nos invita el pastor Chao. God bless you and we hope this is not the last the first and last time that Pastor Charles invite us to come. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Love you, buddy. I want to let the children slip out right now with Miss Angie, our children's coordinator. Any boys and girls want to go down with the child for the children's church? If you're a parent here and you have a young child and they want to go downstairs, you'd like to go down with them to get them settled, please feel free to go down, settle them down, and then come on back up with us or whatever you prefer. I want to let the church family know that uh, this last week, Ruth Robinson uh, passed away. And uh, her funeral service is going to be here at Bethel this Friday at 11 o'clock.